This week's video is brought to you in part by Heartland Leatherworks. If you're looking for a beautiful new holster, rifle sling, or anything you can imagine in leather, give my good buddy Dale at Heartland Leatherworks a call. Link and details in the description below. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, fudge. Uh, what'd you do? Take one guess. I've done it like every 10 minutes since we got on these bikes. Oh, you put it into gear? Yeah. With the kickstand down? Uh-huh. That don't work. No. Usually nope. it does not. Nope. At least this bike will start with the kickstand down. The other one wouldn't. Right. Oh, we move it, oh, we move it, oh, we move it, oh, we move it. You gotta start the. Oh, copyright strike. <laughs> guys well today miss daisy yes where are we 191 one north ashley national, ashley national forest and we are on our first i guess what the adv guys would say adv <laughs> but uh in our language we're just actually on an adventure uh, we left home yesterday, uh, a little later than we wanted to, but I, I we both had to work. Uh, we both had to show up to work, and um, we had some final preparations that we had to make, so we didn't get as far as we wanted to, but uh, we made it all the way to um, Rifle, which is, uh, we, we took 70 from our house in Parker, uh, out to rifle and poor Miss Stacy and I got completely battered by the wind the entire time up 70. You, you, you want to try to explain it to him, Miss Stacy? Yeah, I would, but I imagine that this audio is going to be awful because the wind is hitting me again. Aww. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Miss Stacy needs a new helmet. Red, extra small, extra round. <laughs> I wish you would have never told me that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so when Miss Stacy was buying that helmet, uh, I took her in to see my buddy Eddie at uh, one of the local shops here. Um, and uh, he's, he's a really good helmet fitter. And he... <laughs> just happened to let it slip while he was kind of fitting Miss Stacy for a helmet that she has an extra small extra round head so uh, I'm sure I've made that joke on the channel before but now you guys know what I'm talking about uh, <laughs> so what we have planned is an 1800 mile loop starting and ending at our house or starting and ending at our garage but we're not sure if our loop is gonna work out because it's still very, very cold in uh, Yellowstone, which is where we kind of wanted to go. Uh, now, we've been to Yellowstone before, but we have not explored the northeast and, what is it, the north and northeast entrances, or is it northeast and east? Northeast and east. Northeast and east entrances. Uh, and they're kind of more remote. Um, so we're gonna we're kind of playing it by ear. We're gonna camp tonight somewhere here in Ashley National Forest, which is absolutely freaking beautiful. Um, and then we're gonna head up to Lava Hot Springs tomorrow, and we're gonna visit uh, Mr. Brett and Mrs. Lori uh, from you guys. You guys saw them in Moab like forever ago on the on the green quad, the big ass green quad, not the big green boob, a different one. Yeah, the 
limo quad. That's what I call it. It's got like an extended wheelbase. That thing's badass. But um, we're gonna go up and visit them. They have some property up near Lava Hot Springs, and uh, we can go up there. And they don't have a house, so they're gonna be in there. They have like a huge camper, uh, but we can uh, hammock camp there, which is what we're gonna be doing tonight. So couple of things that, that that I didn't realize and you guys probably gave me this advice I'm sure you know somebody did <laughs> but I didn't really know what they were uh, and Miss Stacy found them they're called under quilts now Miss Stacy why don't you tell them what an under quilt is it's like half a sleeping bag it, it yeah. goes under your hammock so that the air doesn't get to the hammock so that your butt doesn't have to right so I would call it like a butt saver. <laughs> so what I learned when I did my U-Haul. So Miss Stacy found a deal on two of those under quilts, uh, which I did not have when I did my little test uh, at the end of last season uh, when I went up and in, in, uh, camped in Warren or Walden. Sorry, in Walden. Um, then I froze literally my everything off, all of it, gone. No happy, no happy peanut, no peanut left. <laughs> um, so yeah, last minute, like the day before we left, Miss Stacy's like, we need to go get these because it's gonna be freaking cold on our whole route. So a couple of days before we left, uh, I installed heated grips on my bike. Uh, Gabby now has Koso, K-O-S-O, heated grips, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but they're on, on the second setting right now. It's 55 degrees up here, and my hands are nice and warm. Uh, now on Miss Stacy's bike, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure you guys probably all remember, if you, if you pay attention to the Facebook, you definitely know. Uh, if you don't pay attention to the Facebook, you should be. Uh, it's facebook.com slash Colorado Dual Sport, all one word. Go give us a like, and you'll know that Miss Stacy was having a serious issue with the windscreen on her BMW F650 GS. So, Miss Stacy, tell them what you did. I took it off first. <laughs> Just ripped it completely off. And that was so much better. Like, <laughs> How garbage is your factory windscreen when completely removing it from the bike is better than having a windscreen yeah. to begin with? I'm not exactly tall. No. That windscreen blew the wind directly into the middle of my face. Yeah, it was ridiculous. I mean, like, you have to be, like, literally a lunch kit. Yeah. Or, like, a certified midget. Right. For that not to blow it directly into your face. Yeah, you would have to be a legit little people for that to be comfortable. So without it, so to tell, them, tell them what we did. We went and did uh, Peak to Peak without it. And she was like, this is so much better. So I was like, uh, you need to order something because you need, you're gonna want a windscreen. Like doing 75, 80 miles an hour without a windscreen sucks regardless. Um, but for a trip like this, this long, um, you know, you just, you need a windscreen so you don't get beat down by the wind. So what'd you get, Miss Daisy? Mad stat windscreen. This guy who got sick of having a crap windscreen on his GS and decided he was going to make his own company to make these. And he did. And now he makes it for all kinds of ways. And if people wants to make it for a bike, he already does So he's he, So he's not a big company, right? No, I think there's probably like five Okay, yeah, like, all right. Yeah, like, he's like, yeah, this is Jim, what do you want? Like, yeah, I, but, yeah, I mean, there's at least two people working for him, because one answered one email, yeah. answered another email, and then somebody else answered another email. But, like, all right. you know, it, it takes them, like, four days to manufacture it, like, they do it as when you order it. Yeah. And, you know, you can customize the color of the screen, uh -huh. you can customize the length of the screen. Uh-huh. Right. Pretty much in any direction that you want it to 
you wanted to put it like all the way up. Now, how big is it? Uh, I got the 18. So it's an eight. So he suggested the 18 for you, right? Like you asked him. Uh, he said probably 16, and I said, well, I want it. I want it a little bit taller. So, so, so you're uh, five foot three on a good day. <laughs> Miss Stacy's five foot three, kinda. But um, yeah, so the 16 inch probably would have been fine. You got the one that's a little bit higher just in case I wanted to ride it or something. Um, it would be okay. So that's cool. Um, I know that windscreens for motorcycles, are we turning here or no? No, okay. Did we already make our turn? Nope. Oh no, no, okay, so we're, <laughs> right, so we're going off of 191. So that's gonna go up one side of Flaming Gorge and we're gonna go up the other. We're gonna come back that way. So you may see that intersection again in another video in, uh, what, eight days now? Eight days. So our entire trip is planned for nine days. I've been talking forever. So I should probably shut up. Because I can give you more information later. But, uh, all right, guys. Oh, well, the, let me just finish my thought. So the mat, uh, windscreens are not cheap for any bike. But how much did that cost you? You can you, you give a roundabout. Yeah, so like, if you go to buy any of them, uh -huh. go, so this is an older bike, it's 2001. Uh -huh. If you try to go buy a windscreen for it, there's like four options. Right. And most of them, like, there's some sort of review on it. And half yeah. the people like it and half the people hate it. But it's too late. Once you buy them, you cannot return them. There's some good advice right there. So, after reading all of these, and they are all, like, the cheapest ones, like, 200 right? Yeah. They range from, like, 200 to 400 dollars. Right. And you can't return them. If you don't like them, they don't work for you, too bad. Yep. This guy, he makes them, and I think it was, it was 270 and then it cost $30 to ship it. So it was right at $300. And it has a 60-day money-back guarantee. If I don't like it or anything at all, all I'm going to lose out on this is shipping. So you can you can actually put it on your bike and use it for 60 days? Yep. Wow. And so, one that you buy from like Revzilla or any of the other name sites? Yeah. You, you cannot return. return. And maybe you, you might be able to return it if it's like defective when you get it. Right. But if you put it on your bike, no go. But I'm cheap, so I didn't want to uh, I didn't want to spend 300 bucks anyway on a mission. And right. I really didn't want to do it if I couldn't return it. Right. I mean, what if you get it and you freaking hate it? That's like, right. you seriously, and, you have to eat 300 half, bucks? Literally, it's like half the you can put the other ones to get this. Yeah. But like, just make it all, and the rest of them are like, this is wonderful. And it all depends on how tall you are and how your bike's laid out. Mine's right. factory lower, so it, it has a bit of a angle to it. Yeah. So, it, you know, I didn't so. want to take that chance, so I paid the same amount and got one I could return or adjust. Right. It's worked out pretty well. Yeah, you made the smart decision. So I went through that same thing when I got the tall windscreen for the Africa Twin. Uh, the, I have the Honda. I don't have an aftermarket one. This is the Honda optional tall windscreen. And I ordered it the day I went in to get the bike and didn't do any your research. You know, I was just like, all right, well, it's a tall windscreen. It's going to be good, right? But it's just a windscreen. That's it. <laughs> Apparently, a bunch of people are like, the tall windscreen for the Africa Twin sucks. It's buffets and it does this and that and the other thing. I've had no issues with this thing whatsoever and it's right, wonderful. You are super tall in the torso. Yeah. So maybe if you were like my height, it probably might buff it for you. That's but the whole thing. Like, why would it buff it for you and it's not I buffeting no for me? I'm just saying, like, do you know what I mean? It, right. You can't take a review unless that person is the same size as you. Right. And has the same yeah, but if I duck totally down, different. but if I duck down, it's not buffeting. Buffeting is a thing that's either happening yeah, or not happening. Usually, I know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. By this, though? Like, yeah, yeah. That's why I didn't want to buy one. Because I knew that if I did, that I'd have that chance. Of right, right. It's not working for me. That's, that sounds like Red Canyon. <laughs> Red, yeah, something like that. That sounds, sounds cool. I think we're coming back that way. Oh, yeah? I think so. Sweet. All right, yeah. well, so, anyway. there you go. So there you go, there's some great information for the ladies uh, who are looking for a incredibly short 
bike for incredibly short girls because I know that a lot of you are. Um, but yeah, that Mad Stad looks it looks badass. It totally fits on that bike 100. percent So I'm gonna I'm gonna come up on your right hand side. So just stay right where you are, and I'm gonna do a little drive by. Miss Stacy looks totally boss. She's like adventure person. All right, go ahead. You pass me and take the turn. You totally look the part right now. That's awesome. I love it. <laughs> yeah, and your hands are warm too. All right, guys. We will catch y'all later. Peace.